four responses back. Jack Hogan back, Glenn Styles, Andy Dillon responded to me. Of course, he said he wanted to raise the taxes, but he did respond, which was more than most. And I uh, can't remember who the other one was. But I only got four responses out of the whole list. I think uh, David Pelbrook was the other one uh, that finally sent me a response. So out of, out of the whole legislature, that's how many people actually took the time to respond. Andy Dillon said he was raised the budget. He didn't care about what could fix it. And the other three had their, had their points. My question to you is, when you go to run, are you going to make equal parenting or, or some nature of this part of your stance before the people? Because everybody that runs, they got some type of agenda they put out there. This is what I'm for. This is why you're going to vote for me. I don't see candidates doing that because I know in the dealing with other candidates, you know, the other the other people are going to have to deal with the land thing. That sometimes can put you in a bind down there. Uh, but is that something that you plan on putting on your platform when you? Okay, and, and that's a very good question. I mean, I've already made up some brochures and trying to get. You know, what are the key things? Pro-life, I'm definitely pro-life. You know, I'm pro-Second Amendment, I'm pro-family. Now, I didn't go into detail on the family aspect, maybe that's where I should have as far as the equal parenting, because I do agree with the equal parenting. I know my oldest brother had gone through a divorce. Luckily, him and his wife were able to come up with joint custody, otherwise they would have gone through the turmoil because they lived in Allegan County, and that's where I live. And that's where we need to make a change in Allegan County from that aspect. I know Fulton is trying to as state representative, and that's where I would be willing to also act on that. But you also have to look at what would the opponents be doing as far as, oh, you're against child protection services, you know, you're against children, you're against, you know, the mother of the child. You know, you could see where opponents could use that against you in a in a primary race. You know, I hate to say that, but they, they could make it look bad. But it, it's one of those where I definitely want to get in there and act on this at the state rep level. Because I think it needs to be passed, but I think we're going to have to have, you know, the majority or have, you know, the majority want to get it out of committee to vote on. Because Fulton was co-sponsor, but he can't he can't actually vote on it until it gets out of committee. Rick can vote on it, but he needs help. He needs more people there that can help support him to get it out of committee. Um, so yes, I would be a strong proponent of equal parenting. The fact that if you make this something that you enter into the ring me and you battling out for we want this seat. To me, equal parenting is something I would bring up. Especially if you're against it. Or you don't want to deal with it. Because now I put you in a position you don't have a choice. <clears throat> if, if you bring that if, I don't see it in the debates. That's the biggest thing. The media wants, wants to downplay it. Yeah, I'd just like to jump in for just one second. And, and that is, campaign issues, equal parenting, Pro-life. The pro-life thing I have a problem with. The first thing is, I don't know why any man would take a stand of what a woman goes through in, uh, in carrying a child. Neither one of us, across the board, the Republican candidates, and I spoke to several of them in Washington a couple weeks ago, neither one of those men can conceive, carry, or deliver. They will never experience the pain of childbirth. While these guys are running around, we're talking about what a woman has to deal with with her creator. We have children that are already here that are being destroyed. And they are going into a womb and trying to make a decision that is a decision that a woman and her creator has uh, alone. Whatever the decision is, she has to deal with it. That's not a campaign issue. But shared parenting, if it's, if it's something that's unpopular, then we don't need a candidate that's going to run that's afraid to stand on that issue. What should we have in Lansing? When, 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 at election time, you can touch your state representative by opening your front door because he's outside with his pamphlets asking you for your vote. The day after election, then you have to start letter writing campaigns. You can't get to these people. They won't answer their phones. We need a, a large amount of people to write letters to get these people to understand that the people that they were standing out outside their door has an issue. The state representative on all levels should have regular meetings in their districts for their people to understand who should 
run for state representative? This mother right here, who's had a problem, who when you have a problem and you need to have it taken care of in Lansing, she knows what you're going through. The stuff shirt that we put in Lansing and that we put in Washington, D.C., it has to stop. I guess just to add to that from the aspect, there are many groups that have one issues. Yeah, and you could say pro-life would be a one issue for many people. Equal parenting is obviously another very important issue. We need to unite some of those groups together so that we get these because they're both very family oriented. You know, making life sacred is one of them and having control of your kids by the parent, equal parenting is another key one because that is keeping the family together. That is something that's gonna make a difference in our world. Look what's been happening to society as we've been taking kids out of the families, as we've been aborting babies that could have gone to full term and be normal kids. Both of those have been destroying our family structures. And that's what we need to address those. And I think those are campaign issues. That's where you need to be motivated to get others out there to make it just as big of an issue as pro